Hey guys, so uh, I'm getting on my longboard and I'm about to go longboarding and uh, just leaving now. So yeah. My little brother is out here this morning making chalk everywhere. I don't know if y'all can see it. That's a gnarly crack right there. I don't want to be going over that. Because every time we go over it, it doesn't look that big. But the driveway comes down and then back up. And it's not a lot of fun to go over. You can like... On my bigger long board, I could probably do it, but not on this little tiny one. So uh, I'm riding that Krypton Explorer again. The one that I did a review on the other day, or not really a review, but kind of a review. And uh, so, so far I've done a couple of mods to it, just to make it better and stuff, to see how good I can get a $20 Walmart board to ride. And uh, so far it's going pretty good. I almost got hit by a car. People get so mad when I'm taking a video while skateboarding on the road. And it's very understandable. But, because the thing, I'm just like playing my phone or whatever. That's because I mess around with my camera while I'm skateboarding down the middle of the road. Which isn't really smart, but. just gotta deal with it so as I was saying so far what I've done on this board is uh, put the grip tape on it and then I just use uh, standard mob grip tape just the black and then I put bone soft bushings on it the blue ones that's our neighbors that almost just hit me uh, Probably shouldn't be paying so much attention to my camera. But that's what makes good vlogs. So I'm going up this hill right now. It's not a big hill, but it's pretty fun. Uh, just go up it and come back down, I guess. But uh, yeah, I put uh, blue bone soft bu bushings on it. And then. I was thinking about replacing the bearings because I have an extra pair of uh, just Bones black bearings. Uh, I think they're like ceramic ones. They're really nice ones. And uh, they spin for like ever. But honestly, the bearings that came with it aren't that bad. I They don't spin for that long, but you don't really need them to spin for as long as like $40 bearings do spin for. So, I think I'm just gonna leave them how they are. Because, this is usually what I do. I just come down this hill and other hills and stuff. And, uh, that's plenty fast for me. If I ever get bored of going this fast, then I would definitely switch them out. Maybe put some bigger wheels on it. Some more risers. So that I have room for them. And, uh, or maybe just get a bigger board overall. I'm thinking about getting like a 47 inch long pintail board. And that should be pretty cool. I think the brand of it is called Moose. It's on Amazon. But yeah. And it's a like 47 by nine, I think. The pintail it has wheel wells. And I don't honestly don't know why I'm skating up this hill. It's insane. That moment when you came and kick up your board in, in public, or not quite public, kind of in the middle of nowhere. There's hardly any cars, so that's nice. Oh, here comes a car or a truck. So I did the dumbest decision ever on this ride. Instead of bringing my GoPro and just strapping that to my board, I decided to bring my phone. So now I have to hold my phone the whole time which is kind of dangerous. And also everybody's gonna be hating on me because I'm holding my phone while 
longboarding down a hill. But whatever. Thank you. Alright. <laughs> and yeah, I got awesome Pokemon t-shirt. Uh, and the shorts that I'm wearing that I happened to wear today don't have any pockets, so I can't even put my phone in my pocket. I have a backpack, just a mini backpack, but I'm not gonna use that because then it takes forever to get my phone out. So I messed that one up. All right, so I'm at my starting line. This is where I usually been starting lately. Pretty much every morning I come down here and we're up here and then go back down to my house. And it's pretty cool because from up here, I don't have to kick a single time to get all the way back to my house. But it is a little bit of a walk. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully there's no cars. I don't see any. Yet. It sucks when you're going like super fast and a car comes. And like you're almost to the end of your destination. You have to completely jump off your board. And then like kick off and then like you lose like all the fun of coming downhill. And walking the whole entire way. Alright, here we go. Alright, I'm coming downhill and uh got some feet going. I'm going pretty fast, it's actually kinda of scary holding my phone when I'm doing this. I can't really look back to see if there's cars because I don't want to flip over. Oh, that was a big bump. Alright, there we go. Another bump coming up. That wasn't too bad. That one looks pretty bad. Alright, I don't see any cars yet, so we're doing pretty good. Here's another bump. I didn't hardly even feel that one. My like, worst night. Oh, there we go. Like, my worst nightmare is coming down the road, like, like, super fast and just hitting that one bump that I can't get over and just out into the middle of the road. That's what I'm always scared for. But, so far it hasn't really happened. Or it happened once the other day. But all I did was just scrape up my knee. So. And then, there's another hill right there that's, like, really steep, so I usually don't hit that. I have before, but... It's so steep that's like not even fun. It's just like scary. And it's a hard walk to get back up. Whee! All right, so I came all the way up from that big hill up there. You probably even barely see it. <laughs> Down to my driveway, and uh, without having to paddle once. No cars. Uh, wasn't really that bad wind, so I got to come all the way down. Sometimes the wind through here is so bad that it literally. It like, slows me down to the point where I have to like kick like the halfway way back. So yeah, that's the end of my ride. I'm probably gonna be doing more long video, long boring videos soon. So please like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment on what you want to see next. I guess. So. Uh, oh yeah, this has turned out to be a pretty cool board. This is what the grip tape looks like. Uh, I did a pretty good job. This is my first time doing it, but I've been doing a bunch of flips and stuff, or trying to, and so I kind of messed it up around the edges but uh yep pretty cool board so see ya